And welcome to Web Pastor TV. My name is Mike Shoesmith, and uh, today we're going to answer the question from Phil Helens. Phil Helens has a question for us, and his question begins here. He's going to ask the question in this video. He made a video called Atheism, the Stars Are on Our Side, and he asked a question in the video, and I'm going to let you guys hear his question. Here we go. This is Phil Helens asking a question. You to consider. Both holy books refer to the stars and the sun. Why? Obviously part of the reason is the need to explain the pretty lamps, <coughs> stars, but why in particular do the holy books talk about the stars and the sun? Why do they never, not once, tell us that the stars are suns and that our sun is just an ordinary star like countless others? You know why. Well, we know why. We do know why. Because, because, I'll refer to my comment in his video. I don't know how long it's going to stay here. Uh, it's a comment I just left on his video. Now, the reason the Bible says doesn't say that all stars are suns is because all stars are not suns. <laughs> Galileo referred to the planets that are visible around us as wandering stars. And the dictionary defines stars as any visible light in the night sky. I mean, that's what a star is. This does include suns, but it also includes galaxies, like in the Andromeda galaxy is visible at night, sometimes. That's a, that's a star. And uh, other planets. And... You know, anything that you can see as a, as a twinkling light in the night sky, uh, when you look up at the heavens, that is a star. So, to answer Phil Helens, the Bible doesn't say all stars are suns, because all stars are not suns. That's why. That is why. So, that's the answer to Phil Helens' question, and really, I mean, honestly, that is why Phil Helens should not be taken very seriously on these matters. Thanks for watching.